juicy. Some of these are kind of juicy, damn. Wow. So a question says, how did you find your apartment? Favorite and least favorite things about the city. Are New Yorkers really mean? Do you have a sugar daddy? How do you feel like living in NYC has changed you for the better and the worst? I love these questions, these are great, these are great. Almost about $6 just to do your laundry. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Olivia and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to film a little q and A. I I asked you guys to ask me a question on Instagram. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll leave it down below. It's just OliviaXX on Instagram. To just ask me a few questions, you know, some juicy ones, personal ones, you know, general questions. If you don't already subscribe to my channel, but you've watched a few of my videos, just go ahead and, you know, give it a little subscribe. Follow me on Instagram so you guys can be included next time I have a, next time I do a Q and A, you guys can ask me questions. All right, so let's just, let's just get right into it. If I keep looking down, it's because my phone, it's all the questions are on Instagram. So a question says, how did you find your apartment? Street easy. I feel like that's like the best place to, I'm so sorry if it's loud outside, by the way. Like I live in downtown Manhattan, so. <laughs> It's noisy. I found it on Street Easy. When I was looking for an apartment, I was just a religious Street Easy person. I was on there every second of the damn day looking for an apartment. Found this place, it was like super cheap and great location, so that's how I found it. You can also find things on like Facebook pages. I think there's Gypsy Housing or NYC Roommates. There's little Facebook pages. Just type in like roommates for wherever, whatever city you're in and you can join a Facebook group and you know, meet some people on there as well. I only met one of my roommates on, I met one of my roommates on Facebook and the other I used to work with like two years ago. We used to work together on Fifth, so yeah. Next question is, oh, this is a really good question. It says, how do you feel like living in NYC has changed you for the better and the worst? I would say living here has changed you for the better by making me more independent and making me not only dream harder because I've always been a dreamer but more of a doer. I feel like I really embody that New York attitude, that New York state of mind. So I feel like that just kind of, I don't know, it just like sat with me, you know? I also feel like now more than ever, I won't ever accept anything less than what I believe that I deserve. And I feel like that's something I really struggled with growing up, like with friendships and relationships and, you know, career paths and goals and dreams. I feel like being back in my hometown, it's a small little town in California, you know, if you're really kind of trapped to that suburban bubble, their state of mind, and sticking within that mold, whereas living and moving to the city has really made me kind of not want, like it took me out of that bubble and placed me into do whatever you want, be who you really are, and go after something that you're really passionate about. So yeah, <laughs> that's that. The worst, I'd probably say, that probably is one of the worst things as well because now I'm just a complete perfectionist. It's hard for me to relax and feel like I deserve a relaxation. The worst thing, I feel like it changed me for the worst. Changed me for the worst? I don't think so. I really just genuinely don't think that New York has really changed me in a negative way. I mean, maybe depending on your version of, I don't know. I don't think so. I really don't think so. My favorite thing, my favorite and least favorite things about the city. We'll start with my least favorite, which is probably the fact that it's always so loud outside of my, I don't know if you can hear that, but they're, they're drilling somewhere. It's probably how loud it is and that I have to have like sleep sounds on all the time because it's so loud. Like right now. Another least favorite thing is probably the whole laundromat situation and that we don't have laundry in our apartments or buildings depending where you live. My building, I don't have laundry at all so I have to walk across the street to get a laundromat. And it costs like almost about $6 just to do your laundry, like one load, wash and dry. And I think that's ridiculous. <laughs> so that's definitely not fun. The inconvenience in the city, I mean it's a very convenient city to live in but it's also very old. There's a lot of old buildings and the apartments aren't always the best unless you have thousands and thousands of dollars to pay and throw away monthly. But that'd probably be another thing is the quality of the apartments are not typically the best on average. So mm, 
My favorite thing about living here is definitely the people. I think the people here are so unique. Everyone's on the go, as you know. Everyone has a dream and they're out, you know, trying to secure their bag. And I really appreciate that. I love the hustle. I live for the hustle, so the food, the food, the food. The fact that you can literally eat anywhere and everywhere and all different types of food and also just like the amount of different types of cultures and ethnicities that are here, that's, that's fun. I think that's so fun. I love that. Another question, did Florida absolutely suck while living there? No, I think when I lived in Florida over the summer, it was a lot of fun. You know, it was cute, went to the beach. It was really, really hot, and I don't think I was... I was prepared, but I don't think I was really prepared for what that meant and what that looked like. I don't know. I just wasn't prepared for that, that humidity. I knew that it was going to be a thing, but I didn't think it was going to be that bad. But it was. It's definitely not somewhere I can envision myself living long term. I don't know. I just... I just like New York. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Someone says, how do I snatch my body like yours? You know, Pilates. <laughs> I don't know, I eat healthy and I, I go to Pilates. You know, occasional jog every now and then. The question, are you willing to leave what you love, like your careers and goals for who you love? No, no, I know, I couldn't. <laughs> No, the answer is just no. I was trying to like validate it for love, but no, I'll be I'll be alone. <laughs> Ooh, do you have a sugar daddy? <laughs> I love these questions. These are great. These are great. Um, no, I don't have a sugar daddy. I feel like the fact that you're asking is a little. It's kind of flattering. I'm gonna take it in a flattering way. So thank you, but no, I don't. On to the next. What? are your qualities of your ideal sexual partner. Wow, <laughs> juicy. Some of these are kind of juicy, damn. I don't know, can we, can we hit pass on that one, you know? Next one, are New Yorkers really mean? I don't think so. I think that they're just confrontational and don't want to waste their time. So if you are wasting their time and they don't want to be there, you're, they're going to let you know rather than someone being super fakeish, I guess. Rather than someone being kind of fake and pretending like they want to be there, like a New Yorker is just going to be like, yeah, like I don't want to come. Have fun. Um, but I don't think that's necessarily mean. I get why people think that New Yorkers are mean, but it's just like an attitude shift that, that needs to happen so you can understand that they're not intentionally trying to be bitchy to you. I don't think they're mean. I think they're the most nice people I've ever met, the most genuine people. Obviously, not all of them are genuine, not all of them are nice, but as a whole, I just feel like they're not fake nice. That's why people think that they're mean. They're not fake nice, they just get straight to the point. Oh my God, there's a cute dog. Oh. But no, they're not mean. What are you most afraid of? Um, not living up to my potential and living a dull life. All right, well, that's all of the questions, so thank you guys for watching. And if you watched the whole thing, which if you did, thank you, um, comment down below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be back with more New York City vlogs and all the other content that I bring. And I'll be doing some more stuff soon, so thank just hang with me, guys. We're gonna get, we're gonna get there. <laughs> Anyways, bye y'all. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Uh, her friends play my songs and they've been following me. Yeah, I don't like to do that much explaining and talking. Just know she had coffee with me. Yeah, I hear you like pizza and dancing.